Hi everyone, welcome back to another playlist of Salesforce. So starting with this video, I'll be explaining about dynamic forms, what are dynamic forms in Salesforce and how you can actually use it and what are the benefits of using dynamic forms, all right? So in this video, this is just an introduction video. So I'll just explain you what are dynamic forms and um, actually let's just have a look at the agenda. So I'll explain what are dynamic forms in Salesforce, why, why, why should we be actually using it and how to use it. And I'll also talk about some of the limitations that it has. All right. And okay. So starting with this, what are dynamic forms in Salesforce? So if you guys are already aware about record pages in Salesforce, lightning record pages, then how, like, you know, how the fields and the values are driven on the lightning record page, right? So let's say if I navigate to an account object and if I go to page layouts and let's just imagine that I have only one page layout for the account object, right? And if I actually navigate to the record page, I, by default, there will be one uh, lightning record page for that particular layout. So whatever fields you have put on the layout, all those fields will be available on the lightning record page. And how do you actually set up your lightning record page? So let's say if you're creating a new record page, lightning record page, and you're using the same page layout that you already have. And if you want to use the detail section, right, where you see all the information, I'm talking about the detail section and not the related. So in the detail section, wherever you are like, you know, displaying the account information so if you want to display the same thing on your record page then what do you do you create a tab and you actually in your record page you drag and drop the detail section on the record page right and that is how you actually start seeing all the fields that you have put on the page layout okay so now what are the what are the actually uh limitations that we have uh with this approach so let me go to the org and show you uh so let me, so this is my arc and I'll actually move to one of the record pages and I'll show you how it works, how the detail page behaves basically, if it is not a dynamic form. Okay. So let's say this is my, so this is my account record page. And if I actually go and try to edit this page, let's see what happens. So look at this detail, right? Now let's say if it is not here, let's say if it is not here, okay? Now let's just imagine that this is a new uh, lightning record page that I've created. Now I want to add a detail section. So what will I do? I will create a tab, right? And I'm going to place this tab here. Okay. And then in details, it will not show me until and unless I add anything here, right? Otherwise, it, it's not gonna like you know, show me anything. So how do I include all the information of the page layout over here by dragging and dropping details component? So record detail, okay. And if I drop it here see all the fields and everything all the setup and fields and uh, arrangement whatever you're seeing here this is coming from the account this this page layout account marketing layout so whatever fields i have kept in this page layout however the arrangement that i have done it is exactly showing me the same way okay now let's say if i want to apply some kind of filters for example um let's say onboarding status okay and i have just imagine if i have multiple profiles and i don't want to show this field to like, you know, multiple profiles or it's not just, just, just profile. Let's say like, you know, I have any kind of other filter that I want to apply just on like, you know, this field or any other field on this layout, then how do I do that? Can you do, do that over here? You cannot, right? All you can do is you can only set the component visibility here and that's it. So for example, let's say uh, you want to apply some field level filters or even if let's say you want to break down this details component into separate sections. All right. Let's say I want to keep four fields into one section, then other three fields into another section. I mean, if I want such kind of a setup to be like, you know, done on my details component, then how do I do that? I cannot do that from here. I can only do that from the page layout level. And on the page layout level, you will not be able to apply filters, right? But all of this is possible if you convert this record page into a dynamic form. Okay, so that is the basic definition of dynamic form because dynamics form dynamic form is actually giving you more, much more flexibility but in terms of fields, filter, or let's say like you know, if there are any kind of requirement, like you know, based on if you want to keep 
field or like you know a field required or read only based on some profile or custom permissions any such kind of requirement if you have and if you have upgraded your record page to a dynamic form then you can easily do that okay don't worry about it i'm just giving you a highlight i will in the like you know um other videos going forward i'm going to show you how you can actually implement all of those things okay so now for now just keep in mind that you can like you know actually break down your details section into different details component into different sections you can apply field level filters and you can also like you know make a field required not required and also you can make some like you know you can hide or unhide uh, your fields uh real time when the user is actually like you know using your record page based on the input that the user is giving on the like you know on any of the fields for example for the for the last point that i just mentioned let's say if i let's say if somebody gives a high rating then only i want to show the phone number so my phone number field visibility depends on the rating i don't want to by default i don't want to uh show the phone field for the users i want to show the phone field to the users only if the rating is high so let's say if somebody is using your account record page any user is on the account record page like you know any 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 record page and if they actually go and select the rating as high the moment they select the rating as high the phone field will pop up it will start be like you know it will be visible to the user but if the user changes the rating back to something else from the high then it should get disappeared okay so that kind of implementation like you know any kind of such setup that you want to do you can do that in dynamic form but again not in the record page or not from the layout okay so all right okay so that's the definition of dynamic forms and then why to use dynamic forms the same things that i just explained that make real time changes to your form based on the user input the example that i just gave right if somebody is changing the rating and if the rating is high you want the phone field to be visible but if the rating is not high then you want to hide the phone field okay so that kind of uh, implementation you can do using the dynamic forms and then unlike the traditional page layout where you can only add a field once you can add a field multiple times using dynamic forms okay so here for example let's say um, uh let me let me think of an example let's say analytics okay so you want to display this field uh let's say there are like you know different values or um yeah let's say if you want to display this you have let's say if, if you have two criterias okay so for example you have profile one and profile two okay and for profile one or let's say you know what let's just take the same example it will be easier to understand okay so now just imagine that i have two profile profile one and profile two and what i i want to do is that if the rating is high i want the phone field to be visible but the if but if the rating is not high i don't want the phone field to be visible but this kind of this setup i only want to do for profile one and not for profile two for profile two i always want to display rating and phone then what would i do in such case i can add rating and phone again on the same page which you cannot do in a normal record lighting record page or page layout but in dynamic forms you can add the same field multiple times and you can apply the filter whatever filter you want so in my case uh, what will i do i will add rating and phone again and on this rating and phone i will apply the filter for profile one right because on profile one i have some kind of condition that i want to be applicable for rating and phone and for profile two i will when i add these two fields again i will only add the visible like you know the, the profile condition and not the other condition where the rating is high then only the phone should be visible otherwise is not okay so i can add these two fields again okay on the same page just below this and i can apply different conditions based on my requirement based on the profile okay so that kind of implementation you can do using the dynamic form okay so that was about like you know why to use it it's just like you know i have just mentioned two reasons but there are uh, different like you know other like you know benefits of using dynamic forms which we'll get to know once we actually like you know start going uh, topic by topic and then how to use dynamic forms now the question is that the page that i am seeing here is a normal record page how do i upgrade it to a dynamic form so if you see i when the moment i opened right how did i open this record i actually went to um you can either navigate to the record page from a detail page or you can go to setup you can navigate to account object and in your account object you will see record pages from there also you can open the record page but this is a shortcut okay so here i am already on the account page i will navigate to the record page okay
And if I click here, right, on the details section, here you can see that I'm getting an option of upgrade now. So you can configure record detail settings and fields right inside the Lightning App Builder, upgrade to dynamic forms and start putting individual fields and sections anywhere on the page. See, this is what we discussed, right? That you can break down this into like, you know, different sections and you can use the field, the filters, like, you know, as per your requirement. So the moment I click on upgrade, this will not be a normal Lightning record page anymore. It is going to get converted into a dynamic form. Okay, so I'll just click on this and hold on so next and here it is asking me that like you know what are the layouts that you actually want to use so i'm using this one so i'm just selecting this one and next so now if you see that you can see these extra uh pencil icons right beside each and every field so if i click on this field you can see right i'm getting these options of like you know adding filters so I can like, you know, add filters, I can add like, you know, sections, if I want to add another section, sorry, not here. Um, yeah, here, right. So these are like, you know, different sections that you're seeing over here. And let's say if you want to, um, and uh, okay, we'll talk about the limitations later. But if you there are two kind of filters that you can put, you can either put a filter at the field level, or you can also put a filter at the section level. Okay. So let's say this page layout is being used by different profiles. Okay. And so, like, you know, again, if you have, let's say five profiles in your system, and for all the five profiles, this is the record page that you're using to display the account information to all the five profiles. But let's say that you have a requirement that to one of the profiles, you don't want to display this section. Then you can simply click on this section, add a filter, and you can put a check where profile name is not equal to that particular profile, right? So this page layout, the same page layout is going to be visible to all the profiles, but to that one profile, this section is not going to be visible, right? And then all of these things were not possible, like, you know, just by using uh, like, you know, normal standard page layout or standard, like, you know, lightning record page. But this, as this is a dynamic form now, you can use those kind of filters, okay? All right. So, and then there are like a you know, few limitations. And one more thing, if you would have observed, I am, I just like, you know, upgraded my account record page to a dynamic form. So I think in the previous release, they actually like, you know, made this possible for account contacts and opportunities. But before the previous release, I think the winter release, it was only the dynamic forms were only available for the custom objects. It was not available uh, for the standard objects, but uh, still like, you know, this is not available for all the, all the standard objects for, but for account contact and opportunities, it is available. All right. So that is one uh, of the other limitation. The other limitation is that if you are creating a section, let's say if this is my section in, and if you see that, that the kind of layout I have for this section is like, you know, two columns, right? So the other drawback is that in one column, you cannot have more than 100 fields. Let's say in this particular column, I keep more than 100 fields, okay? And I save the page. Then if I actually navigate to an account record, right? I will not be seeing more than 100 fields, okay? It will truncate all the fields, even though the fields are required. Let's say you have, let's just imagine that this is your like, you know, 100th field. And after that, you have like, you know, placed few more fields, like, you know, five fields. And out of those five fields, there are like, you know, one or two fields which are required. And you think, okay, these are the required fields. This will not get like, you know, uh, removed from the page layout, but it will because dynamic forms in one section only allows hundred fields in one single column. Okay. So that is another thing that you would have to keep in mind. Although I have personally, I have not seen like, you know, uh, any such case where you actually have a page layout where you're keeping so many fields, like, you know, more than hundred fields in one single column. But if that is the case, then this is something that you should know. And also this doesn't work with internet, internet explorer 11. Okay. You will just like, you know, see an error on the page. Okay. And blank spaces are not supported. So if you guys uh, have worked with like, you know, uh, standard page layouts, you can actually add blank space, adding blank space as in like, you know, you can um, like, you know, add your fields wherever you want. You can also leave a space in between, but that is not supported over here. So the blank blank spaces will automatically be removed when you actually like, you know, 
uh, upgrade your page to a dynamic form. Okay, that's another thing. This is the thing. Uh, this this point is about the hundred fields. And also, if you have any custom links on the page, your custom links will get removed if you are upgrading your page to the dynamic form. So these are the things that you would have to keep in mind before you actually upgrade your page to a dynamic form, so that you can do another like you know other kind of workarounds, right? For example, if you have a custom link and you know that like you know the moment you will actually upgrade your page to a dynamic form, it's going to get removed. Then you have to find some other workaround to actually like you know keep your custom link on the page okay so these are like you know few limitations that we have in dynamic forms and this is the link i will also give this link in the description so this link actually talks about all the limitations that we have in the dynamic form but what i have seen is that like you know uh, salesforce with every release they kind of like you know keep upgrading all these things for example as i as i just mentioned right that uh, this was not available for standard any of the standard objects, but now it is available for account contact and opportunities. So similarly, whatever limitations you will see in this link, those limitations might like you know be uh, actually like you know covered in one of the like you know upcoming release that Salesforce has. Okay. So in the next video, we'll start uh, with one of the use cases. So I'm. Although we don't have a lot of use cases under dynamic forms, but I am going to show you that how you can like, you know, break down your detail component into different sections. Then I will show you how you can actually apply filters on the field and then how you can apply filters on the sections. Right. And also if you want to like, you know, apply some specific filters, for example, like, you know, let's say custom permissions and all of those things, how you can do that. And also the first point that we had talked about right about the user input this one also right let's say the same thing right when the rating is high then the phone field should get disappeared so such kind of use cases i will be covering in the uh, other videos that i would be creating so stay tuned and keep practicing and i would suggest you to just try this one small demo of like you know upgrading your any of your you can also use any of the custom objects that you would have created in your org or you can just use any of the standard objects the three objects that i mentioned account contact or opportunity and you can try upgrading the record page into the dynamic form all right so i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye